I'm here today with Ms. Tammy Jacobs with Durham Housing Authority Resident Services. She is the Educational Program Manager um, over Durham Housing Authority Resident Services. Um, I'm just coming today to interview Ms. Tammy and ask you a couple of questions about um, your role with Resident Services, um, some of your, your um, success management style, and um, just some topics that I'm going to touch on with okay. my questions. Okay. So my first question is, tell me about yourself and your role at DAJ. Okay. I have been with the agency for a little over eight years. I've been in different roles within resident services. So let me tell you a little bit about Durham Housing. We are kind of two-piece or two-fold. The first part is the administrative piece. They do the rent, bricks and mortar, take care of the buildings. We are the human services part. Mm -hmm. We try to take care of the people. So what that means is we come into the community and try to meet people exactly where they are, whether that be the entire family, whether that be the child, whether that be the adult, whether that be the elderly and uh, disabled person. Mm -hmm. So we serve zero to 100 as far as our communities. And so that's what we do. Um, in my roles, I work with the youth as well as the adults. Okay, what motivates you with resident service? Like what drives you with your position? That's a good question. I want people to end up better than where they started. In my own personal life, we grew up in the country. We didn't have public housing, but we were poor. Mm -hmm. But we didn't know we were poor because we were surrounded by family who supported us. Sometimes all you need is an opportunity to do better, to be better. So I want to be a part of something that's going to help people be better than where they started. What what do you see as some of your strengths with resident services? Connecting people. I think I'm good at partnerships. So if there's an agency out there that's willing to come in, as you've just seen from this mental health class, sometimes people want to come in and offer services, offer folks turkeys, backpacks, whatever that case may be. I try to connect the dots so that even though you might want to do the service or you might want to offer the idea or the actual tangible item, then what is the resident doing to earn that? So we hope to be able to say you do something, you get something versus just asking people to come in and donate a boot bag, but then they don't get anything in return or the resident hasn't grown but they've just gotten a, a book bag. So mm -hmm. I try to be the networker to connect the services for the actual positive outcome. How would you define success in your role? So I define success by folks moving in, moving up, and moving out. That is our personal mission, resident services statement. So anybody that comes in and again, doing better than where they started, that's the role. For instance, if a girl comes in, she has no job, she has no education, she has no transportation, we can help her go back to school, we can help her find employment, and we have partners that will help her get a car for $600. You can't beat that. Can't beat it. What accomplishments, what accomplishments are you particularly proud of? Partnerships. For instance, Wills for Hope is one of our partners where we have an opportunity to get young women or men five cars per year and the cars are only six hundred dollars they just have to be working within our programs to make that happen um, other partnerships include north carolina central working with interns um, working with the computer department to help bring computers to the community just a whole wealth of partnerships that will help the resident be a better person what things are important to you in your job in your role um, making a difference, I would say, um, and people showing up for what you have to offer. There's a lot of things that we can bring to the table for residents, but if they've been or have not been exposed to those or are listening to the streets versus listening to us, then we're in a losing battle. So for people to show up and try to participate, that's what we want. How do you deal with conflict? Head on. I would say I, you can't match conflict for conflict, but you can't back down to it either. So what I mean by that is 
if someone's having an issue, then you just address the issue. And they may be in the heat of the moment. That doesn't mean you have to be. And then you just bring resolution to the table. It may not work every time, but for the most part, if they know that you have their best interests at heart, they're gonna try at least at some point to hear what you have to say. Tell me about a time you made a quick decision that you were proud of. Mm. I would say when it comes to youth programming, um, sometimes our residents are not prone or keen on what we have to offer, except when it comes to their children. So in other words, mom may not come out to hear about a credit uh, class for herself or nutrition for herself. But if we bring programs to the table for her child, that she's gonna make sure the child gets there and hopefully it's gonna to extend to her. Mm -hmm. So youth programming has definitely made a difference. Give me an example of a time you got really, uh, give me an example of a time that you were really motivated at work. Ooh, that's every day. Every day because I don't know what's gonna happen or who's gonna get their light bulb turned on. So every day that's a challenge for me to say, who, who's gonna win today? Mm -hmm. And what can I do to help them get there? Um, what is your management style? My management style, to be honest, is no nonsense. I mean, <laughs> you know that by mm -hmm. now. I don't mind, you know, a little playfulness. I don't mind people having fun in the office, but let's get the work done. Let's do what we're here to do, which is to turn residents' lives around. But that will conclude my interview with you, Miss Tammy. Thank you so much for the opportunity, and I hope to see you in my future. And I think you will. I just want to say you've done a wonderful job with us. I've seen you grow this semester, and I know great things are in your future. Thank you so much.